Richard Bromwell here from Charterhouse Auctioneers. And I'm going to do a bit of a walk and a talk through our great big two-day auction of silver, silver plate, jewellery and watches. So we've got so much stuff coming in, we've actually had to split them into two days. So on the 31st of July, we're having silver and silver plate. And then on the 1st of August, we have jewellery and watches. But starting off here, fantastic collection of spoons. Come and have a look at these, Ash. We've got trefid spoons, we've got seal top spoons, we've got apostle spoons, but this one here is my favourite. And what is unusual about that is the size. Now we know that size matters. That is a child's or adolescent's silver spoon. I don't know, I, I, I don't think I've seen five in the nearly 40 years I've been uh, working in auctioneering. And these are all 16th and early 17th century spoons. Wonderful collection there. Also from the same men, and this has all come from the Cease Estate down in deepest Devon, is we've got a collection of peppers or pepperettes. We've got here a rather mad looking creeping moggy. Here we go, a Victorian silver, incredibly rare. Um, that one. The value on that, it's, I think we've got sort of three to four hundred pounds, but it, it could well top a thousand pounds. And this, uh, this, this one here, this, this is quite a, certainly a bit of fun here. It's a little Welsh hat. There we go, a little pepper in the top there. A little bit bonkers. They, uh, they were a, a maritime family at one point, and we've got a, we've got a ship's ventilation uh, pipe there. And another one of my little favourites here is this little little pepper in the form of a post box. What will they think of next? I mean, there's probably about fifty or so pepperettes. There's birds. There's other animals. There's cotton reels, there's castellated turrets and all sorts of bits and pieces. So that's a bit of an insight into the silver. We've got about 450 lots of that. Coming on through to the jewellery and the watches. Now we all know what this is going to be. It says it what it is absolutely everywhere. We've got a very nice gents uh, Sea Dweller Rolex. Here we go. It's got its box, it's got its paper, it's got its guarantee, it's got this, it's got that. The value on that, round about the sort of six and a half, maybe seven thousand pounds. But it's the jewellery that we're majoring on this time we do love a box because we love it's a bit like christmas here we go look at that a beautiful uh, 19th century garnet little little uh, bracelet there we go just put it on around there we've had a good look at it and every single piece is there it's not the sort of thing you want to buy to find as a piece missing it might be difficult to find it also sort of a, of a costumey nature sadly is this rather beautiful i think it's beautiful paste cross here we are we're going to turn it over and have a look at the back of it as well because i think the back is just as beautiful as the front um lovely little uh, pace cross there we're at about 100 150 pounds these things don't always have to be a lot of money and uh, we're going to be bugging you in a second here we go lovely little bug brooch here whopping great big uh, diamond in the thorax there ruby ruby decoration there bug brooch we're at about 1500 maybe 2000 pounds and still also sort of on the sort of the, 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 the nature touch. You've got a lovely pair of lorgnettes. Here we are. And uh, these, these actually, if you can see, Ash, they're actually in the form, this is called honesty. Um, you weren't about in the 1970s, so you didn't see um, dried displays of flowers with, with, with honesty. And uh, they just open up. Now, I'm obviously for a left-handed person. There we go. Oh, yes. And a lovely pair of naturalists. They are made of gold as well. We found those uh, clearing a property. They were they were hidden away, um, but certainly we, we we found them. And still on the boxes as well. And uh, we're going to open them very very carefully. And uh, aren't they divine? Lot number five hundred. It's the first first lot of the jewelry coming up on the uh, on the Thursday. Lovely pair of diamond uh, pear shaped earrings. Value on those sort of two to three thousand pounds. So there's a bit of a quick walk and a talk through. We've got about eight, nine hundred lots of silver jewellery and watches coming up in our great big two-day sale. 